As a paramedic, you run into situations that make you think. It lets you think about what's important in life, but also it lets you think about how can you improve situations? How can things be prevented? Or if they happen, how can they be supported? And that then goes also back into technology. How can technology support health? So ultimately health is a lifestyle choice. For me, getting up, going out into the fresh air, having a run, having the ability to have well-being, mindfulness, is one of the foundations to have a better quality of life. In the year 2050, there will be over 2 billion people on the planet over 60 years of age. And in the same timeline, the people over 80 years of age will triple. Elderly care has a number of dimensions that we need to reflect upon. So Infineon for over 40 years has been producing semiconductor solutions for a variety of applications and segments. We develop systems and semiconductor solutions to improve people's lives, making them easier, safer and greener. Technology and with it also IoT can influence the health sector significantly. One bucket is the prevention and there's already a lot of things today starting with fitness trackers and, and, and other things that are kind of motivating you <laughs> to live a more healthy life and to pay attention to your body and also giving you more information about it. You can have IoT in diagnosis and treatment but you also can have IoT in support. So if I take uh, the, the elderly people living at home, then uh, a smart home, for example, can really support people. Internet of Things is effectively these physical objects that can be around us. They have the ability to sense an environment, to compute, and then give out tangible information. So far, we have basically used IoT devices to connect to the cloud or to give commands to, um, to a device. But now we see more and more that devices are starting to interact. This ring is actually monitoring sleep, it's monitoring activity levels, temperature, stress, heart rate and so on. So I'm able to kind of get my data on a continuous base and I see when something is changing. So I have a possibility to kind of react to this. To make that possible, there's a lot of ingredients needed in that ring. It's been sensors, obviously, we need processing in real time and we need to be able to send and receive information. One of the major topics that we have to consider in this whole context is security. Because obviously if you connect things, we want it to be secure. And all these functions are cared for by semiconductors. I don't think many people know where semiconductors play such a vital role of improving um, applications. We can now monitor sleeping patterns. With radar technology, we can actually uh, monitor patients even when they've got bed clothes and covers over them. This information is vital to improve their sleeping behaviors. And on top of that, we've been focusing on the air quality monitoring of a room with the latest technology for sensors for CO2, where individuals can take a very small portable device, plug it into their computer, and they can actually track and monitor the data which shows them the quality of the air. One of the things that I, I would look for for myself going forward is I really do want to live at home as long as I can. And if technology can help to support me, then, then obviously that would be one way to achieve this.
It's never too early to focus on health and fitness. For me, it's to make sure I have a better life. Because one day I want to be fit enough to be in a fortunate situation to play with my grandkids.